What's up guys? I'm back with another video. Excuse my hair flipping. It's a little crazy today. Um, I just got up but I'm trying to get it to uh, kind of lay down so it looks nice down. Um, I decided to do a what I got for Christmas and my birthday haul since my birthday is December 24th for those of you that don't know. Um, so I thought that would be interesting so you guys could see what I got. I know a lot of people enjoy watching those and I love watching other people's videos of that. Um, sorry for the background, uh, but I figured this would be a pretty backdrop in here. It's just a scrapbook paper with a hole punch, butterfly hole punch. So I thought that would be kind of nice to film in one of my videos. And then this is just a coat tree that I painted with all my coats all over it from college and then jewelry over there. So. Don't mind that, I figured it would just be a little bit more festive background. So, okay, getting into what I got for my birthday and Christmas. Um, this is more of my family's presents. This is um, a shirt that I got from one of our real good friends. I actually call them uh, Aunt Patty and Uncle Scott now. Um, although we aren't related, that would be the closest relation we would have um, if we were to put it in familial terms. But I got a really pretty um, black and multicolored sparkly scarf from them. Um, I got some jewelry from my grandpa and like iTunes gift cards and stuff. So it's sort of hard to uh, show money, <laughs> I guess. Um, so that's what I got from that. If you guys want to see pictures or anything, I can definitely give you that. But these were my uh, main presents of the year. So I will start, like I said, with what I got for my birthday, and then my next video will be what I got for Christmas the day after. <laughs> so my mom is an avid knitter, and I got into knitting, obviously because of her, sort of off and on, but I'm, uh, I'm really starting to get into it now. So she was thrilled to get me these. Um, these are Knit Picks needles that the wood is absolutely gorgeous. It's multicolored. Um, these cords you can screw in in different lengths and they're circular needles for like making a cow, like a little thick infinity scarf, um, socks, ooh, what else, sometimes sweaters, it all depends. So she was thrilled to get me these. And they also have stoppers on the back here to hold different sections of projects if need be. And they come in all different sizes and you can buy separate um, lengths of cords too. So I was thrilled to get these and she was so happy to give them to me because I've been using hers, which she does not mind, um, but she was glad to get me them, um, especially because I'm her only child. She's I'm following in her footsteps, so that's cool. Um, okay, so moving on to what else I got for my birthday. I am not a huge makeup person. I don't use a lot on my skin and stuff because it is rather clear, um, but I have Urban Decay on my eyes and I'm really getting into that. I'm so glad I heard about these products through YouTube um, and I'm so glad that I got them uh, from Sephora and decided to try them out. This is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. It's mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is the back of it, and then this part says Urban Decay. This is the original Naked palette. I have yet to use this one, but it says Naked, and it's got a mirror, and then the double-sided brush. I am thrilled to death. They say the Naked 2 um, palette is very similar to, the, to this one, so I probably won't get end up getting the second one, at least for a little while. Um, but I know this is going to last me a super long time. So I'm excited about that. And I also got the Naked 3 palette, which I have been using since I opened it. I absolutely love it. I love that it's metal. So it has the mirror in here. And then the double-sided brush with the makeup. And as you guys can see, I have been using that. Um... But this will definitely last me a long time as well. I don't do terribly dramatic makeup. Um, and my I have relatively small features. So it's not like I have a lot of area to cover with my eyes. So I'm a bit nervous that these will expire. So if you guys could comment, um, obviously in the comments below, how long you've had your naked palettes. 
how long you think they'll last. I know especially with this quality of makeup, I can probably keep them for years. I read you can keep eyeshadows for years. Um, oh, here, let me show you this. So this says Urban Decay as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there. And then the back here. Everything's kind of blended in on that one. But hopefully I can keep these for a very long time because I love them. They're pretty expensive. They're not awful, but I will definitely get some good use out of those. So please let me know if you can keep naked palettes for years. Okay. In the naked palettes, both of them had these samples which are eyeshadow primers I was thrilled this is the um, one that I haven't used with my naked palette um, but I did start using the original which is this one um, with my naked three and I absolutely love it I plan on getting primer potion um, tomorrow actually so it just gives you four different options of potions and primers that you can use um, and that is the back of it. A lot of it is in French as well. So I'm very excited to try these. There's an anti-aging one that I'm going to give my mom because I don't need anti-aging yet. I will eventually, but not yet. So I'm going to let her have both of those. I also, this is a little bit of a weird present, got Yak Tracks for Christmas because, or my birthday, sorry, excuse me, my birthday, because I'm horrible on ice, and I just got Uggs um, that have a lot of thick tread. They're almost like a Timberland boot. You can't find them anywhere. I got them the color Otter, which is my favorite animal, <laughs> and I like the color too, um, but then I got these for when it's really bad. My Uggs should work just fine, but I also have older pair of Uggs that don't have much tread anymore, and I should be able to use them on these as well. So these uh, Yak Tracks, I have one out here that I could show you too, but they essentially just stretch to the bottom of your shoe, and they have these silver coils to um, break up the ice. So that's what it looks like. And I believe this is the front side, this one. And it just stretches on your shoe and you walk on them. And they're not, they're not like pogo sticks. They're not this boingy, they stretch. Um, so they, they, you know, touch the bottom of your shoe and everything. So you can walk through the ice, but you do need to make sure with the act tracks that you uh, carry like a Ziploc bag or something to put them in because you can't, walk around in buildings with them it's like you're ice skating and you'll hurt the floors so you need to have somewhere especially because these coils get packed with snow and ice that they can drip into and they won't drip into papers or all kinds of stuff that's in your backpack you don't want to do that so make sure you have some kind of heavy duty ziploc or maybe a makeup bag if you can put them in there that's waterproof that you can reuse that would be really nice. Um, and the last present I got, wow, this video is getting long. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I picked these out in American Eagle. They were having a sale on them. They are just plaid pajama pants. I absolutely love them from Aerie. They have pockets, which is so nice. They're flannel. They're so soft. So that was the last gift I got for my birthday. And I will just show you my cards real quick. This one is from my parents. And then this is the inside. We also got um, presents from my Uncle Bob, which was nice, but most of that was money as well. Um, this is from the same people that got me the shirt that I'm wearing. I love the snowman with the cake. I think it's adorable. So there's that. And my adorable little neighbor made me a birthday card. 
So that's hers. Let me cover her last name here. So I thought it was adorable. So that's what I got for my birthday, and I will be right back with a what I got for Christmas 2014 video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.